Hi, my name is John Kelsey. I'm National Trainer for Hard Hat Industry Solutions. This is a session from Red Rhino Academy, our complete training course in electrical and structured cabling estimating using Red Rhino software. This session is called How to Take Off Conduit and is designed for electrical estimating. In this session we cover how to do a material takeoff for a conduit feeder and enter the conduit and wire into Red Rhino Estimating Program. To complete this training segment I'll be using a project drawing, Red Rhino Material Takeoff Sheet, and a Scale X to measure the conduit on the drawing. If you do not own a Scale X or other similar device used to roll across plans to take measurements, I highly recommend you get one. They're a huge time saver, you can buy them online. If you prefer to use a ruler to take off conduit, simply apply the same concepts I discussed regarding the Scale X to using a ruler. Let's take a look at the drawing. The drawing shows a top view of a building containing electrical panels. It also shows a feeder conduit which runs from the main switchboard MSB to panel A, the 200 amp panel. The conduit is a 2 inch EMT with four 3 aught copper conductors and one number 6 ground. I'll demonstrate how to take off the 2 inch uh, feeder conduit and transfer this information to Red Rhino. Now let's look at the material takeoff form we'll use. And by the way, Red Rhino has several material takeoff forms that you can print out from the home page. I'll be using Red Rhino's material takeoff form A for this example. It's been filled out with conduit information shown on the drawing. Returning to the drawing, before you start, set up Scalex to the same scale which matches the drawings. Read the Scalex instructions if you do not understand how to do this. It's a crucial step. Pretend my computer pointer is a Scalex while I demonstrate how to do a conduit takeoff. Here's a tip for taking off conduit. Take off all conduits at right angles to the plan. Do not measure on diagonals. By measuring at right angles, you allow enough conduit and wire to go around obstacles or obstructions in the building. When rolling off or measuring conduit, it's essential to include the conduit riser length in the takeoff. For those who may not know what the definition of a conduit riser is, this refers to the conduit that runs vertically. An example of the conduit running out of the top or bottom of a panel or junction box. Here's another tip. You can allow for the riser conduit by overrolling or rolling past the end of the conduit run. When you roll past, it adds extra length on the scale X. Okay, let's assume you have everything set to roll off the feeders and are ready to start. I roll the scale X over the path of the conduit at a right angle. I'm going to overroll slightly to cover the amount of conduit riser. Since I'm using a virtual scale X, you cannot see the length that it's measured. In this example, I'm going to say the scale X shows that this run is 130 feet long. I take this information and write it down on our takeoff sheet. Here's an illustration of how to write the conduit information on the takeoff. 130 feet of 2 inch EMT conduit with 4 number 3 aught copper conductors and 1 number 6 copper ground runs equals 1. I also have to count the 90 degree bends or elbows. By looking at the drawing I know I need 190 going up out of the pan one panel 190 going out of the other panel, and one additional 90 for a total of three 90 degree bends or elbows. Notice I did not take off couplings, connectors, or conduit supports. Red Rhino inputs those for you. I'll show you what I mean when I enter the materials into Red Rhino. On our takeoff sheet is an example how to write elbows. The example shows a quantity of three. Later we will enter this into Red Rhino. Now I will define two other terms necessary for conduit takeoff. They are wire makeup and conduit application. Wire makeup is the length of additional wire that must be added for the wire to extend past the end of the conduit to the termination point. You must calculate the wire makeup length at both ends of the run and then average it. In our example, the conduit riser running out of the top of panel MSB, I estimate requires seven feet of makeup or wire makeup. In other words, I calculate it takes 7 feet of additional wire to extend the wire past the end of the conduit to the circuit breaker where the wire terminates at panel MSB. The wire makeup length needed for the 225 amp panel I estimate would be around 3 feet. 7 at one end plus 3 at the other end is a total of 10 feet. 
10 feet divided by 2 calculates the makeup length to be 5 feet. I'll demonstrate how wire makeup is entered in Red Rhino in a moment. The next definition you need to know is conduit application. Conduit application refers to the manner in which the conduit must be installed. Red Rhino adds labor based on level of difficulty to install the conduit. Red Rhino considers six different applications. Normal application is six feet off the floor. Concealed, the conduit would be installed inside walls. Exposed plus 10 feet, the conduit would be installed above 10 feet off the floor. Exposed plus 20 means conduit would be installed 20 feet off the floor. Slab application, conduit would be installed around concrete forms. In underground application, conduit would be installed in a trench. In this example, the conduit would be installed above 10 feet off the floor. Now this concludes the portion of the material takeoff. Now we switch over to Red Rhino software and I'll demonstrate how to use the conduit wizard to enter the conduit from the takeoff sheet. I'll assume, uh, I should say, I'll assume you know how to, do, to log on to Red Rhino, create an estimate, edit materials on the takeoff input page, and use the conduit wizard. If you've not learned these things, please refer to our other training sessions that have these topics or cover these topics. From the home page, we go to the top left under Estimates and Proposals and click on List Estimates. The program then takes you to a list of estimates. I click on the estimate that I want to work on. In this example, I'll click on the estimate named Sample Estimate How to Take Off Conduit. In the estimate, the section name is called Sample Section How to Take Off Conduit. I click on Edit Takeoff to start inputting materials into Red Rhino. I'll now use the conduit wizard. The conduit wizard is for rapid input of conduit runs. You can literally input hundreds or thousands of feet of conduit in just a few seconds. I click on the wizards button and select the conduit wizard. This is where conduit run information is input into the program from the takeoff sheet and the program does its magic. I'll now enter the 2 inch conduit run into the program. On the top of the pop up next to the words conduit type, there's a drop down that says PVC. I click on that drop down and select EMT. Next, I click the size drop down and select 2 inch. Again, the conduit run from the material takeoff is 2 inch EMT with four 3 out wires. Below the size drop down it says EMT fittings. I click the drop down and the setting allows to, to set up whatever type of EMT foot pitting, fittings or input. Many types of fittings are available to select from on the drop down. There's four different types. There's steel or die cast. SS means set screw. WP means weatherproof or, or compression fittings. SSIT means set screw insulated throat. WPIT means weatherproof or compression fittings insulated throat. For this example, we'll use SS diecast. So I'll click on that. Next, at the top right-hand side of the pop-up window, we click the Find button. Always click the Find after finishing selections at the top. That populates the correct material down below products. As discussed earlier, the term conduit application refers to conduit or levels of difficulty. I click the conduit application drop-down. Now Red Rhino has several conduit applications. Each application has different labor quantities depending on the difficulty of installation. As shown on the takeoff sheet, I set the application at plus 10 feet like the conduit is to be installed above 10 feet off the floor. Next I click in the total run length. I click in the total run length box and type in 130 for the number of feet as shown on the takeoff sheet. Next to the right, I click on the Number of Runs box and type in 1 for 1 run. 
Next, I enter the four three-aught copper wires plus one number six ground. I click the top wire drop-down that says wire number 12 CU and select wire number three slash zero copper or CU for number three-aught copper. To the right of that box, it says number of. I click in the box that says number of and type in the number four for four conductors. Next, I input the, the ground wire. I click in the second wire drop-down and select the wire six slash CU for number six copper. I click in the box that says number up to the right and type in a number one for one conductor. This is what I explained later now, wire makeup. Or wire makeup length is the amount of wire to be added that extends past the end of the conduit at the termination point. The conduit wizard adds additional wire uh, the amount of wire sticking out of both ends. The quantity entered in the makeup box, box, I will use an example, is five feet. Five feet of all wires will be added to the estimate for both ends of the run of conduit. Below makeup box is a box that says L's quantity. This is where you input the number of 90 degree bends that were counted from the takeoff. I click in the L's box and type in the number three as shown on the takeoff sheet. Next I click on the add button and when I do, it populates the materials to the takeoff page. Okay. Next, I click the Save button. Now, this was what was just entered. On the top line, line one, is the EMT conduit. Looking over to the right is the catalog number of the material, the quantity of material, which is 130 feet, and the unit price of the material. Next to that is the unit of measure. The abbreviation UOM stands for unit of measure. Unit of measure use letters to represent quantities. E stands for each, C for 100, and M for 1000. The units of measure for each item are generally used in the same way that you would buy for that item. For instance, conduit is sold per 100 feet, so the unit of measure applied to conduit is a C representing per 100. On the same line to the right, the display for labor hours plus labor UOM or unit of measure. Finally at the far right is the extended labor required to install the conduit. Each item that's listed shows the unit price of material plus the extended price. Red Rhino also displays the labor hours per unit plus extended labor. Notice that the conduit wizard has added couplings, connectors, supports, 90s, and the total footage of wire needed. With this, we conclude our training session on Red Rhino's Conduit Wizard. The Conduit Wizard tool allows you to quickly and effectively enter your conduit materials. It adds couplings, connectors, and supports, and calculates the labor required for the installation. Our Conduit Wizard greatly speeds up the estimating process. This is John Kelsey saying goodbye for now. Thank you for joining me in this session of Red Rhino Academy.